Welcome to Best Fountain Pen. Today we're going to talk about the Waterman Couture. I actually looked this up on the internet today to try to pronounce that correctly for you. I don't know if it's German or Swedish, but I remembered the pronunciation is important to a lot of the people that watch these videos especially. So it's K-U-L-T-U-R, which I guess is Couture. Um, I love this little pen. It's super important that I let you know that. <laughs> Uh, it's a demonstrator, which if you've never seen one before, that just means it's clear so you can see the inner work workings of the pen. And what I really enjoyed about it is that um, it holds a lot of ink, number one. But two, it's a really smooth writer. So if you're looking for a pen that's cheap, well, I guess this one cost me right around $50, but also has a really smooth steel nib, then this pen might be for you. This is something that... Um, I look for in the fountain pens that I review just a uh, good value for your price and I love this blue this shade of blue is just fantastic to me I know that Waterman discontinued this pen so unfortunately um, once the supplies are out I guess they're out so you might want to look for them um, Amazon still has a pretty good supply to these I know that I linked to it in my review that's where I bought mine and um, I just love the pen so we'll get started let me show you a little bit about it so it has this um, super loose spring-loaded clip there that functions very well. It's a little bit wider than many fountain pens. If you want to get a little bit closer look, see how cool that is? I love that you can see all the inner workings. A lot of times when um, companies do demonstrators, they'll actually make the section or the cap like more uh, translucent than transparent, so it'll kind of fog some of that so you can't see it as well, especially this. The section is not usually, the section is this part right here where um, you could see all of the ink coming down through the feed from the cartridge here and it feeds through. A lot of times that, this part will be opaque and you can't see and that to me that's the most fun of this pen but I know, it, and people that don't know a lot about fountain pens, I saw in the reviews on Amazon that some of them complain that it looks like it's broken because if you can see the ink there kind of, um, you know, it fills up at different rates in that, in this section here as it's, but that's how fountain pens work. It's just feeding the nib. And I haven't had any problems with this being, you know, skipping or anything like that. So there's nothing wrong with it. I like the look of it, but I know that's not everyone's, favorite cup of tea is to see all of that ink coming through. I just like it. Um, this one I think was a fine, I don't know if it comes in any other um, nib sizes in terms of medium or bold, I didn't, or broad, sorry. I didn't see anything um, other than the fine available, like I said, but there's a, a bunch of different shades. So if you don't like this blue, which I don't know how you couldn't, I love this blue, but there's also a green one, a red one, and just a completely clear version as well. So all of those are available to you. They all have this black kind of blind cap here. And uh, the nib, I think, is kind of oversized for the size of the pen, which I like, it, or I guess scaled very nicely to the size of the pen, which I really like. And then it just has this one little metal piece and pull-off cap, which is awesome. Makes you write faster, you don't have to wait which I like, but I know some people, some purists like the twist on, twist off, or screw on, screw off cap. Um, when you unscrew the body, you can see it uses the, um, I believe that's an international, I have to double check my own writing, uh, international long, I don't, I'm not sure if Waterman uses proprietary cartridges or not. I'll update it in the description. I just plugged in what they sent me, but I just used the Waterman cartridge that they sent me, and it's super long, holds a lot of ink, and this is gonna hold more ink than most of your um, converters that have the twist at the end because you have to leave room for that screw twist mechanism to work. But like I said, um, super fun pen. What a great look. Um, you can't see it here. I have close-ups on my website at bestfountainpen.com to where you can see the branding on the cap, but there's a little tiny Waterman brand on the um, stamped onto the clip. There's one, a big kind of W underneath the cap on the blue that's very very hard to see and then it says waterman it's just kind of etched very lightly underneath the clip no one would really see that except you i mean even from this distance the only marking that i can see is the one on the clip everything else is kind of um, hazy or you have to look really closely to see but you can see close-ups on my website for the branding if you're interested very smooth pen writes really well one of my favorites, I updated my um, list of my favorites under 50, this made the list. So if you have any questions or anything, uh, check it out at bestfountainpen.com. Otherwise, we'll get started 
on a writing review so you can see how it writes. We're going to take a look at a writing sample of the Waterman Couture fountain pen in the fine nib. So that was a writing sample of the Waterman Couture fountain pen um, using Waterman blue ink cartridges that came supplied with the pen. If you want any more information, just check out my website at bestfountainpen.com. I'll have a link to this exact pen in the show notes <laughs> and below or description. And uh, I love the demonstrator on this pen. It's just a really nice pen for the money.